cloud, people who have been talking to you about cloud technologies typically tell you is the infrastructure, the storage, the network, the compute. If you don't have technology which is reliable and cheap enough, you probably cannot really think of scaling very quickly. On the other side, on the extreme right, are things which we want your employees, your staff to use so that they can be more productive. We want to ensure that when it comes to team's productivity, when it comes to being able to give Android devices safely into the hands of your employees, Chrome kiosks in the hands, on the, on the stations of your uh, hospitals, if that is the case. So we want to ensure that your teams and your uh, people are very, very productive. It's slightly problematic when the applications that you use on your mobile phones for free kind of are more beautiful, are kind of more intuitive than those applications that your organization spend crores to build, wait for months, and then they essentially do not work as seamlessly as they should have. You probably are tired of getting a new mobile update, mobile app update every second day, but when it comes to your enterprise applications, you probably are running something which was designed in 2002, right? We want to ensure that people can get new applications, new experiences very, very quickly. A lot of the intelligence that we need to gather today to run our businesses successfully is data. I think it is something which a lot of people talk about, which is big data, machine learning, artificial intelligence. When some patient wants to check out, the checkout process today probably takes around three or four hours simply because you're getting data, you're getting connections from the uh, insurance provider, from the pathology labs, and you basically know that because these systems are not really that well architected together, our networks are not working together. Wouldn't it be nice if I, if I was an insurance company and I could essentially check the patient records either anonymously or through some secure access from the people who currently have the patient records and give us a lot more intelligent information. We want all organizations to focus on their core business. If your job is not to maintain data centers, if your job, if your core job is not to maintain servers, allow an expert to this, do this for you. I am a business owner. I know what it needs to deliver good quality healthcare uh, to my patients. I essentially want technology to work for me. It's enough that I keep working for technology, that I keep trying to understand my applications, that I keep trying to understand the limitations of your information security and your limitations per se. The government essentially with its UPI based systems and other systems is now so smart to use these APIs cleverly. We think a lot of other industries are also going to catch up very soon. Uh, this is something that I've been talking about. The one on the right is lots of computation power. You can imagine Google does have lots of computation power that we want to share with you on a rent basis at, at, at minuscule prices so that the cost of technology is not a deterrent. But more important than that is the algorithms It's that, that Google essentially also kind of feeds you with. And what we say is that we can help you in case you have to manage and warehouse this data. We can essentially give you tools for that as well.